Hello, welcome to Maths with Nile. Today we'll be doing measuring temperature. Hi Nile, what are we going to be using today? What do you have on the board behind you? A thermometer. And what unit are we going to be measuring temperature in today? Degrees Celsius. Degrees Celsius. So we're going to start off looking at that thermometer. Now you've learned to read scales recently. Can you explain what's going on with the numbers on your thermometer? Um, it is going up in tens. Okay, can you start from zero and show us counting up in tens? Start from zero. Zero, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty degrees Celsius. Wow. And you may think, this isn't zero, this is, or maybe this is. No, no, no. This is minus 10. Minus 10. Wow, we're going to have a conversation about that in a minute. Let's look at the scale again. And can you point at the halfway mark between 10 and 20? Okay, and how would you figure out what number that is? What number is between 10 and 20 degrees Celsius? What number is it? 15 degrees Celsius. And what about those little markings there? What are we counting up in? So, for example, between 10 and 20, how many spaces do you have? 10. 10, so that means we're counting up in what? 1. In 1. So, can you count up from 10 to 20 in 1s for us? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, very good. So, it's important to know that each of those little spaces is equal to one degree Celsius. Yep. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure some temperatures. And that means there were 50 of these. No, there's oh. 50 from 0 to 50, but we have some underneath. 50 plus 20, 70. 70. So let's start measuring some temperatures. Let's take our first strip and can you put it on your thermometer? Very good. So now, can you tell us what temperature is your thermometer reading at the moment? So if this is zero, this is 10, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18, so straighten it and let's have a look at the 18. Very good. 18 what? Degrees Celsius. What would you do when it's 18 degrees Celsius? Can you describe what the weather would be like? Um, not too hot, not too cold, a little bit windy probably. Okay, would you, what would you wear if you went outside 18 degrees Celsius? Well, me personally, sh short. You'd wear shorts at 18 degrees it's Celsius? Short. I would wear a sh short um, t-shirt mm -hmm. and a short. Okay, so let's do the other temperature. What's the measurement on your thermometer now? Um, 30 degrees Celsius. 30 degrees Celsius, that's correct. Okay, next one. Okay, that's an interesting one. Zero what? degrees Celsius. And what happens at zero degrees Celsius? That is when it that's when ice freezes. Ice freezes? Isn't ice already frozen? Water freezes. <laughs> Water freezes, yes. At zero degrees Celsius. Very good. Or well, ice stays frozen. What's one degree below zero? Minus one. Minus one. And if it falls five degrees below zero, what number would it be? Minus five. Minus five degrees Celsius. So can you count for us from zero to minus ten in ones? Zero. Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, minus seven, minus eight, minus nine, minus ten. Okay, so I've got a question. So when it drops below zero, it's getting colder or hotter? 
colder. Colder. So which temperature is colder? Minus 10 or minus 5? Minus 10. Minus 10. Are you sure? I am sure. Minus 15. Can you explain how you know it's minus 15? Because this is a half half point thingy. Halfway point between Halfway what? Halfway point between 10, minus 10 and minus 20. Okay. Is there another way we can figure out that it's minus 15? Um, we could count to see how many. We, we can count on from the minus 10 because we know it's going yeah. in ones. Yeah. So start at minus 10. Minus 10, minus 11, minus 12, minus 13, minus 14, minus 15. 15. Minus 15. So that's absolutely correct. Can you tell us the reading on that thermometer now? Um, we can count down to minus numbers from 0 to our mysterious number. Okay, can you do that? Zero, minus one, minus two, minus three. Minus three degrees Celsius. Very good, Naya. Let's do the last one. If this is 40 degrees Celsius, it is it goes up and down in ones. Yes. So that means one less than 40 is 39. So that means it's 39 degrees Celsius. Very good. Can you just push it up just a little, little tiny bit? Tad. A tad bit. So you're saying that you took away 1 from 40 and you got 39. Brilliant. Yeah. What's another way you can do it? Um, you could, this would take very long. But why don't you count up from a number that's close to it? 30. Yeah, 30. And then why don't you go to the halfway mark, which would be? 35. And then continue from there, counting in 1s. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. 39 degrees Celsius. Brilliant. Okay, you can 40. take it down. So tell me the different temperatures that your arrows are pointing to. 20 and 30. 20 degrees Celsius and 30 degrees Celsius. Which one is the warmer temperature? 30 because it's higher okay. if it was minus 30 it would be lower okay so 30 is higher than 20 yes okay so it's a bit cooler when it's 20 degrees celsius yes okay what's the difference between those two temperatures 10 10 degrees celsius different means like how much is inside how much is inside so there are different ways we can do that we can do 30 take away 20 30 take away 20 is 10 or we can use the uh, the thermometer to count the difference so can you point at 20 and can you count maybe in in five five, five ten. ten brilliant now what's the difference between the two temperatures there 20 can you show us how you know can you count it on the board 5, 10, 15, 20. So you counted in fives. Yeah. Can you count the difference in tens now? Okay. 10, 20. That's it. That's how we count the difference. So what's the difference between 10 degrees Celsius and 35 degrees Celsius? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 25. Very good. Which temperature is cooler? Definitely 10 degrees Celsius. 10 degrees Celsius, okay. So let's say, I want you to set these two temperatures. Okay. Let's say when you go to bed tonight, it's going to be 2 degrees Celsius. Should I point it this to 2? Yes, please. Good. And tomorrow morning at maybe around 10 a.m. it's going to be 12 degrees Celsius. Can you show us 12 degrees Celsius? Hmm. These both are in the two times tables. Yeah. So can you tell me the difference in the temperatures from when you went to bed 
to the next morning when you went outside? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's come to the end of our lesson today. Bye, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did subscribe now, bye, don't forget to press that like button. Bye!